What's up AKA Patterns? Today we're having a look at The Edge, a 24 hour comic book made right here in Philadelphia PA. And you guys know I'm infinitely fascinated by the 24 hour comic. Let's go. What's up AKA Patterns? We have a used bookstore find right here, right here in Philadelphia, PA. I love some of these connections. The Edge, 24-hour comic book, made here in Philly, bought again here back in Philly, used bookstore. So I want to just hit the drawing table, show you guys what I got at that used bookstore, because I did find an absolute gem, a book I didn't even know existed that I think a lot of you will enjoy, that you should get into, because I already started reading it. People, it's Friday. I bought this last Friday. I've had such a busy arc, I wanted to, to drop this video Saturday or Sunday. It's busy. It's the information technology lifestyle. You know, people, we're left brain and right brain here. We draw, we handle intricate technical support issues, admin infrastructure, network infrastructure, all this stuff, okay guys? Yeah, but we're doing the run, we're catching up on videos. I wanted to drop this because uh, Kelly Phillips, we're going to link to her down below. We're going to go through this. People, I am always, I'm infinitely, not always, but just infinitely fascinated with the 24 hour comic book challenge created by Scott McCloud. We all know it caught fire for about 10 years. It, it's been dying out. Uh, the 24 hour comic book challenge is a dying art form. So whenever I find something new, and it's so much more enjoyable than finding them in the ether than hunting them down or just buying them off of the uh, internet, eBay, comic shop or, or, or whatever. It's fun when you find them. It's fun when you didn't know that they exist. And I didn't check if this is on Scott McCloud's database. On his website, he tries to, I, I don't think the database has been updated updated since 2020 or maybe maybe even 2021. It's 2023, by the way, if you guys are keeping track. But no, I try and chart these, I try and document them. I think they're, uh, there's only, the only quality that uh, that we toggle with is just the, the effectiveness of the story and what we're trying to communicate and, and what the intent of the story is. I'm long on record in saying Eric Larson has produced the, the, the best story for a 24 hour comic book. Uh, uh, what he did is a very much enjoyable piece uh, um, that, that names, uh, he did it with, uh, with all of that babbling out of the way. Guys, I just had to do that jump cut. <laughs> with all that babbling out of the way, let's hit that drawing table. Let's have a look at The Edge created by Kelly Phillips. Uh, I do love this cover too. And the, the material. The printing for this too is fantastic. Uh, this is my speed. This is my style. Let's go. All right, people. So, so we're we're doing back to back, back to back shoots here. Here's the edge. We're back. <laughs> we're back doing 24 hour comics. I love it, Kelly Phillips. This cover is amazing. But this is what else I found at the bookstore that day. I had no idea that Brian Herbert, the father, uh, the son of Frank Herbert, the creator of Doom, wrote. Dreamer of Dune, a complete, thick, T-H-I-C-C -C biography on the guy. And I, I've already jumped into this. Uh, and it's it's fascinating because I really don't know anything about Frank Herbert's life. And you guys know I'm a Dune head. This blew me away. I was so happy to see this. And I was really happy to, to see this too because I really feel like this is... A fantastic look. I even paid five bucks for it. This is a fantastic effort. I love the texture for the cover here. It's almost like it's like a little bit pulpy, a little bit toothy. The edge. We have a sailboat going over the edge. So going into this, here's the rule with any 24 hour 24 hour comic that you come across. You cannot flip through it. You have to start in the beginning. And you have to flip through it because sometimes a lot of these artists and creators or artwork wise they will work with the book and the story sequentially and you can kind of be with them hour to hour hour to hour like you know it's very interesting just follow my advice on that never flip through a 24-hour comic book we'll open it up 
The Edge, 24 hour comic, completed between October 20, 12 p.m., October 21, 12 p.m. at Atomic City Comics. That's here in Philly, right on South Street. This should be it. We have three males in the river on the boat, a couple of rocky rocks. Ease her up. So, so when are we quiet? We'll only have one chance once the guards switch off. What are these people doing? We're early. Got about an hour. I heard there's monsters, right? We love it. And here we go. They're at the edge of, of the world. Maybe the edge of consciousness. We have more rocks, potentially rubber duckies, but we have this, this Leviathan, this giant octopus creature. And then we get these things. We get, uh, once you get to the edge, there's nothing left. Gravity loses it, hold, and you'll gently be released, uh, free of the planet, alone, at long last. Cast off from the world into the vast dark void of nothingness. This is, this is cool. This is deep. So what's even the point? And I love it. It's some, it, I'm not always for it, but I like when characters speak directly to the audience. Because just from the cover alone, right? Like, we're going to argue, we're going to discuss what the point is. You kids, it's almost time. And here we go, they're still going. I heard there are people somewhere between Alcas and Outlaws. Some of them born born there, blah, blah, blah. So like, you know, they're going back and forth, they're debating. And then here we go, over the edge. So th this is interesting, because it's like, now it's what is happening? What are we going to do? What happens when I turn the page? People, this is a 24 hour comic and, and we're captivated at this point. Well, our old man here, his parachute doesn't work. Snaps. Looks like he's about to fall. Then we get the two youngins. They fix, <laughs> they they fix the hang glider, not parachute. Well, I guess like see, this is where I'm a little bit confused as of the hang gliders pop out of the backpack, so they're like parachute hang glider backpacks. But one of them malfunctions and, and uh, you know, we have to have a sacrifice. So the, the old guy, he goes and the two of them, the two youngins, make it to the other side. Just jump and pray, slow down. Should kid slow down. Boop, boop, boop. They hit the bottom. Kid, 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 huh? Is it you? Is that her? It's really them. Have they come back? So again, this is, uh, it's almost like this could be literal. And this could also be kind of metaphorical. Are they going to heaven? Are they going to hell? Are they crossing over into like another plane of consciousness? Or is this literal? Like these two characters or these three characters prior to the first page, this is the end of a adventure. The beginning of the adventure with them le be leaving their people. Uh, it's it's a great it's a great effort. Uh, I I would say this one's one of my favorites so far. Kelly Phillips, cartoonist. I'm going to link to her down below. She has a Tumblr. I'm good. All of these links will be available down below. Uh, I, I haven't really looked her up yet, but geez, it's thrilling. I'm hoping she's still in business. I'm hoping she's rocking and rolling because uh, there is a level of talent here uh, for storytelling. Absolutely. So this, look, look, people, I know... I know this video, the views for this video are going to go for like this and then boom. This is not going to be one of my content gold videos. This video is for all of you, the AKA Patterns that are truly into what you can do with the comic book art form, what you can do as a cartoonist, what you can do with a time frame. And I love that a part of the comic book challenge, uh, the, the 24 hour comic book challenge. I just love at times our challenge especially when you're producing a work a work that you can hold in your hand it's not just a drawing it's, it's not just a painting uh, this is an actual product uh, the 24 hour comic book challenge should be looked at the comic book industry's greatest product development product you know because comic shops used to host these and people used to come in and, and, and talk to the artists and hang out and, and they, they used to come back like once or twice, maybe even three times a day to check on the progress of a 24 hour comic book. 
I love that idea. I love that interaction. I, I don't see any of it anymore. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can help me a little bit in the comments. But videos like this are for the AKA patterns. Period. They're not for the algorithm. They're not for hot button topic issues. We're not bashing James Gunn. We're not doing all these other things, people. This is for you guys, so always thank you. I always appreciate it. And you guys know the, the best way to give it back to, to the AKA Pad Army is subscribe, support, leave a comment, any comment. Uh, you know, maybe a relative, uh, you know, thoughtful comment too. You know, tell me uh, you, you like my hair. But something, guys, but always remember, keep going, keep pushing. We should all try to do our own 24-hour comic book. I, I just, I, I believe the benefits of it are immense. And I just love it. I really do. We're going to be doing more of these. Uh, I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to start hunting them down so we can kind of have like a complete uh, inventory and a catalog and rate them uh, based on like some of their intent and some of uh, their known time frames because it does get tricky when we track a 24 hour comic books time frame i've always wanted if you guys do want to see this let me know down below i have longed to do a live stream of a 24 hour comic book uh i played with the idea with my uzi suzy comic book because that's relatively a 12 hour comic book one hour per page, uh, I, it's just designed that way. But I also have that process insanely optimized. I never attempted, thought about, or, or even took notes for a 24 hour comic book of what that process would be. But I would love to sit down and do like a full size 11 by 14 24 hour comic book that is just fresh and um, we can live stream it and I'll experience all of that with all of you guys, meaning the pain, the glory, and just really, like, let's push that 24 hours. Uh, it's also a technical thing. I'm not sure if my my resources can enable a 24-hour stream. People, if you want to do that, if you want me to do that, you have to let me know down below because it's, it's a big investment. Okay, guys, rock and roll all day, all night. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sticking with me during my IT job work crisis where uh, we just get busy. I love you guys. Rock and roll all day, all night.